What's up guys, this is FX Theater here, and today we're going to bring you another tutorial. Uh, this time it's on iMovie. I got a few questions on uh, my holiday montage um, about how I did the scope, and I will show you today. So here's the scope. I'll play this for you real quick. You can just see it, the clip. Okay, so, um, yes, I did edit all this montage in iMovie. I have, I know a lot about iMovie, so feel free to ask me any questions. Okay, first off, for this right here, this effect, where you got it zooming in, I'll take everything off for you guys. Um, it's on here, guys. <laughs> Takes kind of quite a while. Alright, so there you go, here's your normal, just whatever. That's it. That's your thing. There's the color correction with it too. Alright, so I'll show you how to do that zoom effect. First off, what you want to do is you want to go and you want to select negative right here. It comes up as like a crappy brown looking kind of thing. Uh, I just go down here. It's a 126. Okay. So put saturation to, I'll just put it to 126 because it's bad on the other one. And it kind of messes with your mind here because you want it to be green. But you have to put the reds up. I don't know. It's kind of complicated. But we'll just do uh, that right now. And then for the shot, because it's louder, we'll just put our audio to 14. That's why I like to put it for all my montages. I don't know. Just <laughs> it's kind of a weird number, but whatever. And uh, in Ken Burns, or I'm sorry, in your uh, crop memorization, something called Ken Burns you can select. You can either start it there or end it there. And since it's starting in, I'll just have this. So there's the fit, and then I just go to Ken Burns, and you can... Like, you can pick that, and you can adjust that to whatever, whatever side you want to come in, but I'll just do that for now, and we'll see how it looks. That's it. That's all it is. Just repeat it a couple times. And for that knife effect, if you want to know how that works, too, um, I just zoomed in on it. So all I did was I selected... Uh, on here, select the heat wave uh, to video everything, just keep it all the same. Audio, just down 14, like always. And cropping rotation sometimes, instead of starting it out where the end is right now, I started it here instead, so it just creates this kind of effect like it's automatically on. Like that. Very simple. So. Any other questions you guys may have or whatever, just feel free to send me a message and I will reply to it as soon as I can. So thanks for watching guys, this is FX Theater and we will see you next time.